Send and be the birth by night. We are on the way to the transition to the world to Moscow. Well, it looks like Leonid is delivering us straight to the port to Natasha as well for taking care of us during our stay and uh, regaling us with stories of St. Petersburg. So, a big thank you. And teaching you Russian. I told you you would all be fluent by the time we leave. The lessons will go on. Uh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you that it's been a uh, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure working with you. You've been absolutely wonderful, so cooperative, and you listen to every word of my commentary. I hope you've enjoyed your short stay yeah. in St. Petersburg. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Well, keep nice memories. See you uh, next yeah. time. Yeah, see you <laughs> next time. Yeah, we are most welcome to come back. Yeah. Yeah, do Sidania. Yeah, do Sidania. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a good thing. You tell us friend Peter Pro. Transition. We going to board the train. Go to uh, Moscow. Oh, oh, sorry. Tạm biệt. Nói chuyện không có không 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 dùng bia. Tạm biệt. Mình là nói chuyện. Mình là mình là như số mấy? Tám hả? Mình tám là.
got Gatto over there, I guess. Then you pay for the whole compartment. You pay double. <laughs> it's simple. Uh, <laughs> you pay sure. or you worry. Sure. That's the first time. We are going to be driving from here right into the very, very core of Moscow. One can say very accurately that it's the heart of Moscow, which is the Kremlin and Red Square for the basic reason that uh, it's the historic core and also if you look at a plan of Moscow, an overview, it even has a slight heart shape to it as well. So it's very accurate to say it's the heart of Moscow. And it's our plan is that we're going to drive just to uh, by the Kremlin and Red Square and we'll be going to a restaurant there where we will have some breakfast, okay? I think we can't start any sightseeing until we've had some breakfast, at least some uh, coffee and some juice and so on. So it's a served breakfast at the hotel. They don't have a, or a restaurant rather, it's um, not a buffet style, but they will serve us a breakfast and there will be facilities there if you need. So most self-respecting Muscovites are out of town. They've gone to their duchess and uh, they are not in the city center. So it makes, it's a very, very, and other valuables you will have on you. So please, please be careful because pickpocketing theft is always a problem. Um, in particular this evening, when we go on the metro, I would suggest bring cameras. You can take photographs, you can take videos down there. Uh, a very minimal amount of money because there's nothing really to buy on the tour. Sometimes a cave, same as the name of the city. And uh, over towards the right hand side where you can see these red walls, these are the walls of the Kremlin. Oh. So remember the word Kremlin, it translates as a citadel. So this citadel. is the real old historic core that there is of Moscow. And the city, unlike St. Petersburg, that was a planned city with design rings all the time expanding around the Kremlin. And then you can see over towards the right hand side already your first glimpses of St. Basil's Cathedral. That's the beginning of Red Square. Red Square goes down oh. from there with the uh, department, what is that, department store, uh, Goom. 
But yeah. uh, nowadays, actually, it's referred to as a department store, but inside it, uh, it's all different round the walls of the Kremlin. And uh, you'll see uh, tomorrow, we will be going actually inside the Kremlin. So uh, it's not a free entrance to walk around. You can imagine not only is it the historic core of the city, but it's the political center of the country as well. So we will have an entrance to go in. More accurately, the proper name is Alexander Gardens. And then another entrance coming up to Red Square. Where all the fountains are, uh, this is an enormous underground shopping area, a shopping mall. Uh, it's uh, a, shop, a shopping mall that has mainly, I would say, Western-style shops there. If you want to see expensive clothes shops, other things one can see around Moscow, to uh, celebrate the city's 850th anniversary. Uh, unfortunately, under reconstruction, but if you look to the left, this building Lenny. on the left is the Bolshoi Theatre. So oh, one can't see very much of it, but the theatre was in very, Bolshoi very Lenny. bad Lenny. condition. Lenny. And so it's closed at the moment and completely Bolshoi. under renovation, Bolshoi. reconstruction. And details of the city, the Hotel Metropole, uh, older, but Metropole. Uh, one of the more luxurious hotels. Go to the alley. Inside a Kremlin. Go to the alley to get the breakfast. Inside the square or what now? Đưa đi đành ra rest rest về hả? Đi còn 10 phút nữa, 5 phút hả? Ờ, rồi đúng rồi, đi vòng vòng chứ, đi vòng vòng chứ, đi ra đây làm gì? I, I, I think this one rest where I'm not sure. Mọi người anh thấy không? Quách chua đi tới đó là biết rồi. Quá rồi. Được chua nó thích chứ không? Thích cái đó rồi. Thôi lại thôi, thôi lại rồi. Party. And the main political decisions have been taken here for about one century. Uh, of course, you realize that the president doesn't decide everything himself, uh, but uh, he um, discusses it with heating in the cities and basin. Uh, and we are coming back here. Now we're just going to drive around the very center. We will show you some other things, and then we will take a walk through Red Square, you'll be able to uh, take the word Kremlin means a Kremlin. fortress. There are Kremlins in many uh, old Russian cities, but Moscow Kremlin is very special because here they lived the rulers of Russia for many, many centuries. At first they were called Grand Princes, then Tsars. Uh, then in the Soviet time here they lived Lenin and Stalin, in a way they were also the rulers of Russia. Nowadays, it's a big a historical center. In uh, there, there are plenty of wonderful museums. We're going to be inside the walls tomorrow. I didn't say. I didn't say uh, a couple of buildings which you're going to see on your uh, left uh, belong to our biggest library. In the Soviet time, like 90% of everything uh, else in the Soviet Union, it was named after Lenin, one of the greatest Russian writers. And if you look right, the bridge we're going to take tomorrow, 
This nice building further on your right is Manej. It was built as a horse racing place for Moscow nobility, uh, as a monument to the victory over Napoleon. Now it is a big exhibition hall. To the left, there are two uh, uh, old buildings of Moscow State University. Uh, later, most faculties of uh, Moscow State University were moved to uh, another area, but here they still have uh, John Manish Square. Uh, these uh, lamps and fountains and domes are the roof of a very big mall. Three levels of very big selection of clothes, shoes, other bright things you can't help buying. Absolutely ir irresistible. When you bring them home, you do not know what to do with them. But to buy them is a must. And I suggest we should get off here with... <laughs> Let us go there so that we are there before they start. And I will guide you a little bit later. Okay. They open from what time to what time? From 10 to 1. Uh -huh. That's all. Okay. Oh. okay. And they're going to march the same way. That's why if they get a bit slow, then you can take the pill. at these places. Artificially made, and the idea was that it should look empty. In the early 19th century, it was fashionable to have empty ruins in your parks and estates. Here in Moscow, we didn't have any. Alexander the Great had never been here, but to meet the fashion of that time, they built a fake which should uh, look as antique ruins, and it looked exactly the same when it was newly erected in the early 19th century. It was done together with the park straight after uh, the building of Manege, which means they were built simultaneously. It was a way of 
the architect to make it plain that this was to kill us. If some of you can read some Russian, you can uh, recognize the names of Marx and Engels <coughs> and uh, Sam Seymour and Thomas More and some other foreigners and some Russian philosophers who heard of Romanov dynasty. And originally it was a pillar dedicated to this anniversary. There was double-headed eagle on top and all Romanov names enumerated. But after October Revolution, they wanted to be practical. They just took away double-headed eagle, then they took off the upper layer of granite with Romanov name, and they wrote the new names of Marx and Engels and other socialist and communist philosophers, and it worked as well as the first monument of the Soviet power. But actually, it was probably the last monument of the previous regime. Not to waste the material, they made little amendments, and it worked very well for this purpose as well. Uh, here in Russia, it is so very changeable because the Soviet time was over 1991 and a lot of places got its original names back. In the Soviet time, we had plenty of Lenin statues in many, many places. In, in, one, uh, in Moscow, they were all taken down. Uh, but somebody with a great sense of humor decided to preserve several pieces. And there is a park in the center with a little Soviet <laughs> corner. Uh, there we have uh, four Lenin pieces, three Brezhnev pieces, a Stalin, a Zizhinsky, uh, a Kalinin. <laughs> so much without working very hard. <laughs> this old fisherman uh, caught a goldfish, which fulfilled all the fishes. He killed people. <laughs> <laughs> This is historical museum. This is former Lenin Museum, which now is not uh, functioning. And there are plans to make it a filial of historical museum. Huh? It's running out. Let me all Because in previous centuries, 
the word red meant beautiful. People just meant it was a, the most beautiful place in the city. And for Bolsheviks, it was a coincidence which came in very handy. Because red color was chosen as one of the symbols of the Soviet power. But by the time of October Revolution, 1917, this place had been called Red Square for centuries. And the oldest on Red Square are Kremlin Balls, so you can see uh, their beauty. Uh, and you can see a tower with the clock, which is called Savior Tower. One of the five highest tops of Kremlin decorated with red ruby stars. If we keep looking like this, round, you can see St. Basil, probably the most picturesque building, I mean this cathedral, which was erected on the order of Ivan the Terrible in the 16th century, dedicated to the main victory of Russia uh, of that time, Mongol Tatars were defeated. We had had Mongol Tatars yoke during 300 years. That's why it was a great event when finally they were defeated in the 16th century. This is GUM, our most famous department store. It was built as so-called covered trading rows more than a century ago, so it was never anything else. It was a department store, a mall from the very beginning. In the Soviet time, the choice of clothes was so horrible that you would rather be paid for wearing them instead of buying them. <laughs> now they are as good as every, everywhere else, but prices are normally higher uh, than in the Western countries. Uh, this uh, cathedral uh, of Our Lady of Kazan was built in the 16th century, destroyed by Stalin in 1930, and reconstructed about 15 years ago. Bury him, but to put him on display uh, among his party comrades. This burial place emerged here only after October Revolution. 1917 there was heavy fighting right here many people were killed some of them were considered to be heroes russian orthodox tradition and mere common sense because red square for centuries was the place where people came to trade mainly to celebrate things to hear the latest news and all of a sudden it became a cemetery Lenin, by the way, mentioned he would like to be buried next to his mother's grave at a normal cemetery. He would probably be horrified at the idea of lying like this, not even buried for almost a century. And the idea was to embalm his body, to give an opportunity to as many people as possible to say goodbye to him, because he was very popular when he died. But now it's about time he should probably be buried because everybody who planned to say goodbye <coughs> has done so since he died in 1924. It might be a good idea to fulfill his wish. There have been six discussions that he should finally be buried. But once again, for some people, it is still very important to have it all here as part of our history. That's why once again, it was decided to postpone it. But we believe sooner or later he will be there. Uh, besides Lenin, there are about 400 graves of most outstanding people of the Soviet period. When Stalin died in 1953, he was extremely popular as well. His body was also embalmed, and he was put in the same building. And there were two embalmed bodies during eight years. Then Stalin's deeds were discussed and disapproved of, and he was moved a little bit aside, though not very far, because he was buried still relatively close to Lenin's tomb. When we go along Gom, uh, if you keep looking on Lenin's tomb, Stalin's grave is to the left, and the color of his bust is lightest gray. It is seen quite well from there. And, uh, Soviet presidents uh, like uh, Brezhnev, Andropov, and Cheminko were all buried there. Uh, inside the wall, uh, there are uh, black plugs with the names of those who were cremated. Uh, this was done entirely for the economy of space. The main dignitaries were buried full size underground. Those who were slightly less important were cremated and their ashes were inserted into the wall itself because the Soviets meant to last forever. And you can imagine how many more rows of this um, earth could have appeared there if it shouldn't be for this change. When Gorbachev came to power, nobody was added to this burial place. 
because of this simple reason which we mentioned. And you probably remember from the Soviet time the pictures of our leaders standing on this balcony, which is kind of a bit protruding. Participants in the parades came on both sides of the historical museum. They marched through the square, and the leaders waved at them. Now it's about time you should see it, because from... <laughs> Oh, back to the bus? I don't know. Huh? Are we going back to the bus? Pardon? I'm going back to the bus. Now we go to go to use the toilet, then we go back to the bus. Uh, Send page of Send page of church. Here the rest were here. Yeah. 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 The rest, rest square here. Oh, army, army, Russian army. Okay. Đi toilet rồi đó, đi ra này. Anh có viết cái xe bus, số xe bus phải không? Hai. Nát hô va dễ phong Nát hô Illegally But some of them settled down And become Moscovites uh, At the turn of the century 100 years ago Moscow had only 1 million On your left, you can see one of our seven historical skyscrapers. This building on your left is an apartment house, and all these seven skyscrapers were erected by uh, Stalin. It was his decision to change the silhouette of Moscow completely. This happened in 1950. It's called the Moskvarechia, the city behind the Moscow River where they lived. Uh, Uh, and another significant building is uh, a bit ahead of us and on our uh, left, on our right. Take pictures of it. So this cathedral, this cathedral on our right is called uh, the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. And it is hard to believe that it was destroyed Destination is this tall statue of Peter the Great, which you can see on your right. We come very close, get off, and you'll be able to take some pictures if you wish. It is real, it is him. I, and we can just hope this sculptor is an elderly gentleman, and hopefully his creative work would be over by little. <laughs> They say as well that this was meant to be a uh, Columbus, that it was made for the United States. The cathedral on the other side of the river, 32. In the Soviet time there, there was an open swimming pool and it was reconstructed recently, within five years only. Just imagine, the final inauguration was the year 2000 and it was built both for the first and for the second time on voluntary donations of Russian. So those KGB nightmares. 
started on the skating rings in Gorky Park, which is going to be on our walls once again to the other side of the Moscow River. Uh, in most cases, if you see a river in Moscow, it will be the same Moscow one, the river. Moscow River. It makes several curves through the city. That's why you see it in uh, quite many places. Seven, eight. Have to do that Ông bà vừa mới nói nè, Widest Street in Moscow. Widest Street. Isn't it a simple solution for such a complicated problem? And the traffic can be real heavy, but now the city is all ours. mainly in the second half of the 19th century and he died the year 1910. Uh, and uh, he was a great uh, writer but a very uh, hard person to deal with, very contradictory and it was the hardest against his wife. Uh, when he bought this house, you can see the house of Leo Tolstoy on your left. Uh, she was quite surprised because the neighborhood is still not very nice. Uh, when he bought it, there was a house for mentally sick on one side and a brewery which is still here on our left. She wondered how she would uh, receive guests. Also, she married a count, not a, a craftsman. That's why she hoped for some convenience, but she worked as his private secretary uh, with 11 children in the family. She was not supposed to uh, accept the help of servants. Uh, but uh, so uh, the, he was definitely a great uh, writer. You can see a statue of Leo Tolstoy uh, a bit further along uh, your right. So oh, yeah. now it is to the right. Uh, otherwise, the street uh, is um, called Novozivichi Monastery, a very special place, founded... I think so. one lake story come on this uh, lake here. Uh, and uh, your expectation after death was to be buried in red with these famous graves. Oh, if he's uh, never alone. It was an enormous novelty, and um, the reason also people were queuing, one, the novelty factor, and number two, the prices. They were uh, priced in a communist way, i.e. at a fixed price as opposed to a market price. So uh, demand exceeded supply, in other <laughs> words. Uh, but uh, when the prices went up, then the queues got shorter. <laughs> Well, that's a basic economics rule. And you can see this is the, the street along here now. This is called uh, Tverskaya, and uh, it used to be called Gorky Street, the main post office over on the right-hand side in a moment. And uh, there are also more... <laughs> You 
But your heart and pay, but he want to go. <laughs> he, he, he know, he know you stay here. Yeah, okay. Oh, why? <laughs> Oh, the guy, the guy. Oh. Moscow. 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 1947, 1997. Oh, yeah. This looks like America. Huh? Look like America, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no different. <laughs> no, no, no different. Yeah. 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 Market is all over here. Right here. Oh, yeah. You're going to go back? Let's see what I have. Morning we come, we don't see them. Most of the people come here, I see the guy, they do not want to do. It's collecting money, begging. Maybe it was the war, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people down, maybe all too up. Yes, he's dressed all in Europe, you know. Yeah. I'm here.
Приведите, пожалуйста, при обитающей периоде ровно в два часа отбой сибирских граждан отсюда. Группа забирает общество с собой, и мы проходите на посадку вам. Oh. Yeah, this one uh, good one. Hay là đứng lại gần nó có thể nhìn thấy cái tượng của ông ở bên trong. It's a Lenin tomb in here. It's a restaurant. We take a picture here. We won't take a picture here. Yeah, very nice. So at least we walk, walk inside the street, right? Yeah. That we walk, walk and we see that and we go. That we have all for. the brand name trong này và tượng này nó không dễ sợ nha. All the brand brand name. Oh, the tour girl, uh, they bring uh, bring us here, but our tour didn't didn't do that. See this? This morning when we get lost. No, they go to the tour, we go to toilet, they go to toilet, not go to tour here. Oh, they go to toilet. Very nice. Look for the sign. ลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิลงจีนสิล
Yeah, this is gonna win go yet. Oh man. Oh, there's a cafe there. Up there. Yeah. <laughs> Take about uh, 25 minutes, half hour, and we go to there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, where is that? So far, so far, I thought the uh, Japan, uh, to uh, Tokyo. Very yeah, um, uh, most expensive, but uh, what's his name? Uh, Kim? He said, he said, said yeah, that's the most expensive here. He said, but that, I think that uh, he read the article, he said. Yeah. Oh, maybe you keep the rock in there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, easy. See that? You walk. No line. Get the tech bar over on a 20 minute walk in there. Yeah. Inside room. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Let's go, let's go. Oh, from here you can see over there. Then. Yeah. yeah. Come, come there. Come there, take one. Now. Okay, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> Victor. Just in the street. Oh, okay. Well, there's a bus here this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what back to do? Uh, well, well, uh, you know, well, good. Yeah. Sure you know, you it's, um, yeah. I know uh, the, the tomb there. Uh -huh. They connect to the uh, the uh, plumbing wall and go inside, you know, yeah. or, or just in just that section. I don't know. Uh, no, we gotta be going inside. Go inside that, but what I mean inside the tomb or something like that. Go inside the, uh, the plumbing. The I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe that section because I I look to me that independent. 
Yeah, it does look independent. Maybe yeah. there's another two. You see it? Yeah. So that Unless there's a passage underneath. Yeah, maybe underneath something. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all, not that anything independent. Yeah. Maybe they keep it underneath. Yeah, go underneath. Yeah, go underneath. Yeah. Yeah, underneath. You see that, that section? Yeah, hey, separate. Yeah, separate, 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 separate structure. Uh -huh. Separate structure. Yeah, so it's a separate structure. This, this morning I missed, uh, the lady said that oh, only one person, not. Uh, not not the berry in there. Who? What's the name? Who is the berry? Uh, one person. I don't know who. Yeah. Hey, I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I think though uh, the guy who will bury that that picture in there. That, that's what yeah. I did. Yeah, see that? But too far, we can see the name. The tomb in there. No, we're not going to see. We just go inside the rambling. Yeah, tomorrow, no, we're going to see there. Yeah, you may also do that. <laughs> we were so... I sit there to collect the money. <laughs> you, you're not allowed to no, no picture. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, know we like uh, Lenin. She said Lenin, nobody is respect now. The whole thing is the same thing. Yeah. Nobody is respect him. <laughs> Yet the com the com list bill. They spend money to put up in the world. <laughs> yeah, very nice hotel. Oh, I went to change. To find the, the station. Oh, it's over here. Where? Over here. Oh. He's fluent. Fluent in the metro. <laughs> <laughs>
what she said this morning, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It used to be the largest swimming pool in the world, but that's why it's quite down. Oh. How did, where the swimming pool at? Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh that they, was the swimming pool. Castalic tore it down and built the swimming pool. Oh. And then they rebuilt it. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Because <laughs> there's no... Did you hear what Ken say? Uh -huh. This one used to be uh, a big swimming pool. Uh -huh. But when Lenin, Lenin came, he tear it down. Uh -huh. A big, the larger... Like, uh, 96 they, they, they rebuild it? Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, this is the uh, church. Uh, before I look like this and Lenin tear out because uh, in Lenin's time he don't believe uh, religious he tear out and uh, make a swimming pool here and then later on uh, the Lenin tie over and five years ago um, the Russian ma mafia give money to build up this one five million dollar 